Hey YouTube, my name is Dr. Natalie Chai. This channel brings you the latest science-based education and treatments in dry eye disease, myopia management, and specialty contact lenses to help you understand why it should matter to you for optimal eye health, function, comfort, and even beauty. So in this video here, I wanted to make a separate one so it wasn't too long from my previous video, the mechanism of action of atropine. Let's review the general breakdown of the human body's nervous system. The nervous system, you can think of it as the body's electrical wiring system. Here's a great graphic and let's dissect it a little more. As you can see, the nervous system is broken into the central nervous system or CNS and the peripheral nervous system or PNS. The CNS comprises of the brain and the spinal cord, while the PNS includes all the nerves that branch out from the brain and spinal cord, extending to other parts of the body, including our muscles and organs. Let's just focus on the PNS. From there, it then branches into two types, the motor and sensory neurons. Now the motor neurons carry messages from the brain and spinal cord out to the muscles and glands. While, as you probably guessed, sensory neurons bring information from the world and our body from the organs back in to the brain and spinal cord. But let's again focus just on the motor neurons. It further splits into somatic versus autonomic nervous system. You can think of the somatic nervous system using conscious effort controlling muscles and movement, while the autonomic nervous system controls internal organs and glands not requiring a person's conscious effort. So in other words, it happens automatically. As we zone in even further, the autonomic nervous system is further divided into sympathetic versus parasympathetic nervous systems. You may know sympathetic as our fight or flight system or response, so it protects us from any imminent danger. The parasympathetic nervous system is known as rest or digest or feed and breed responses. So it inhibits our body from overworking and restores our body to a calm and restful state. Now groups of nerves in our bodies communicate using messengers. We call these neurotransmitters. Acetylcholine is the name of the main messenger used in the parasympathetic nervous system. Acetylcholine is released from one nerve ending to another and binds to a receptor called the muscarinic receptor. Now this binding allows for our rest and digest response. So let's go back to knowing how atropine works. So atropine works competitive to that of acetylcholine by binding to these muscarinic receptors. So it actually blocks the effects of acetylcholine, therefore blocking the rest and digest response on smooth muscle and other peripheral autonomic nerves. So ultimately, the response is favored more towards the fight or flight response. Well, I hope that was valuable to you. I know that especially when we're talking about the body and the nervous system, it can get very confusing with all the details around it, which is why I decided to have a separate video for those of you who are a little more interested in it and also to respect the time of those of you who just want to get to the surface and get to the point. And that's it for me. If you enjoy learning about these topics and would like to keep up to date, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to make sure you don't miss my new video every second Thursday. Take care of your eyes and I'll see you in the next video.